So that's what she looks like under the hood. All right, let's see if the light bulb works. <laughs> so, we want to see how heavy this thing is. I have this lovely glass scale. So we're going to jack it up first. Place the scales underneath. Put a piece of cardboard to protect it. Lower the car. 222 pounds. So the back is probably 444. Uh, we just have to check the front now. More. Two hundred nineteen. Same as things even. Pretty well. Huh. So by those rough calculations, this thing already weighs eight hundred and eighty-two pounds. And we only paid twelve hundred dollars for it. <laughs> the steel alone in this thing is almost worth as much as we. <laughs> Oh, Jesus. <laughs> so we just bought six 12 volt, 140 amp hour marine grade deep cycle batteries. And yeah, that should get it going pretty good. Batteries. Does that one have a label? Other side. Oh. All right, so it's 140 amp hours. 250 minute reserve. It's manufactured two years ago. Eh, not bad. Trollmaster. Heavy duty deep cycle, low maintenance construction, extra accessory load capacity. Built to take you to the biggins. So we've just jotted down the uh, number of teeth on the gears that are currently on the shafts. It's a standard size 40, which is like the cheapest chain you can buy, but super reliable. Can't break it. Well, you can't not break it, but it's pretty strong. So we have two options. This is the original spline adapter that I machined um, on a, in a machine shop on a manual mill. And it originally connected to the flywheel of the Del Sol. So this plugs right into the motor. And what we can do is we can actually just get a sprocket, copy the bolt hole pattern, and just bolt it on, which allows us to swap the gear ratios whenever we want. Alternatively, there's a shaft coming out the other side of the motor, right here, three-quarter inch. And what we could do is we can just buy an adapter for that, and then using a uh, what's it called a keyway, we can just attach any kind of sprocket we want on this. Um, we would like to use this, but the problem is the motor only spins one direction, and the current layout of the doom buggy is opposite so if we were to install the motor using the spline it would drive backwards so we might have to attach the gear to the opposite end of the motor unless we want to change the drivetrain location All right, time to buy some parts. If you enjoyed this video, perhaps you'll like my other videos.